It's June uh, 29th, 2022, um, sitting here. I'm watching the messaging board, the teleportation device, the television, whatever they constructed for today in their programming. Um, I'm sitting here and it's like, I'm looking at a perfect world of the way that I was delivered to this world, my expressed genes, my mother's expressed genes before me that were absolutely, take your breath away, beautiful. And what over the time spent in this area, how it's been completely taken away and how it's been changed into something like ugly, just ugly, monstrous, and just horrific. It's a disgusting result. Um, then I'm listening to yesterday, they had something in youth, in their youth, they have this thing that some of the humans talk about, about turning pretty. And I'm thinking about my youth, and I'm thinking about the time frame where I was turning pretty. There were visitors, but for some reason, nothing ever solidified and turned into something meaningful. In fact, I had such great visitors that it was almost like when they left, I got punished for having such beauty and such great visitors in this disgusting New York City. Um, this morning on the Drew Barrymore show, there's two things of significance. She mentions this nifty and thrifty somewhere between the Great Gatsby, which is where it existed around my person. There were glimpses of what I should be reaching for and what I should come to expect from humanity um, in the physical world. But then they functioned by themselves without me. I was kept in some isolation. Uh, and then there's this crosswinds of freedom, which has a McGregor, Burns, something author on it, which I've never read. Um, that's at 15.07. Then there's this Jason Biggs, an American Pie reference about some conversation that happens somewhere in the world, in this universe, about what will you tell your sons? What will you tell your sons? And this conundrum about this American Pie and the fact that he essentially had sex with it and ruined it. And the father and him are just staring at the pie. And then he says, um, he says, the Jason Biggs even says, he's like, you know, you don't think of then when you have children in this world anyway, of what you're going to tell your sons of how you just ruined the American pie completely. Um, then they were mentioning this morning crimes without punishment. There's some investigation going on. America's unsolved murders. I think of my youth as a murder. Um, being that it's at 30.13 on the CBS Mornings mention E128 on a six backslash 29s backslash 2022. Um, it then goes, it, and where are we today? Okay, so in the 20th century, where the great gaps be with this grandiose crosswinds of freedom plan where they've driven America, let's see. Um, 
the view on men, according to CBS this morning, uh, they had this movie back in the day called Romy and Michelle. I never watched it. It's not my genre. I think it's absolutely disgusting. It's as disgusting as the 20th century in America. Um, it says most guys are losers. I agree. I'm not going to defend. Like, I want the man to be the man of my youth before my entire childhood got murdered. My entire teenagehood got murdered. My entire young adulthood got murdered. And now my midlife is turning out to look like it's already murdered. Like, there's always this chance for change and that they're actually going to fix something in the ship eggs that can. But I don't see them actually moving. And that's at one dot dot four five dot dot two one. Um, there's some upset at one dot dot oh two dot dot two one with this eye opener at eight a.m. with the G, his lane, G and then H I S L A I N E. That's like the, but and then it's Maxwell, right? Is that part of the Mad Max? part of the plan and agenda to completely disrupt North America. I'm just curious because in this brotherhood of man and the way that they've actually acted in consort, it's really foul. And the colostomy bag of the company has lost its place and its purpose is evident everywhere. And then they have on this Annie Farmer, but if I break that down into universal, like grand schematic speak, it's the anal farmer in the colostomy bag of whatever. It's like the anals of what went wrong. At some point, anals are okay. I mean, it's what keeps, it's supposed to be what keeps gardening and OCD on point, on spec, on getting things done and corrected. But for some reason, they're just swimming in this colostomy bag, lost completely. Here's real stats, real time. 32.43 on this E128 with an air date of 629-2022. It gives me a nationwide murder clearance rate stat. In 1960s, it was at 83%. Eight out of 10 murder cases were solved and cleared. It says that today, with being 2022, that rate has dropped to 51%. It's barely one in two. For me, that's a sign of inflation. You've let this crosswind happen. You've used great Gatsby's kindness and generosity to flatten this curve. So now everybody is equal. Nobody's important. Everybody's non-essential equipment. And you just make targets for yourself for whatever. Meanwhile, I have an ABO, like endangered species thing going on. The fact that my ability to find mate and bear children in the proper order, and that that was taken away is even more horrific while all of this other busy work is going on in some disgusting whatever in the guys now no longer being looked up to and being relied upon in the family unit the family's completely broken and now most guys are losers are the general sediment around here i mean at 40 even at 30 what was my option I stood in the bank, I stood on surveillance camera, I groomed myself to make sure I had a uniform on, I always had makeup on and my hair was done, I was in a respectable lobby of a respectable bank in the middle of nowhere on a respectable surveillance system, and they still couldn't find one respectable gentleman within the entire system to send as a date, I'm just curious, or as a potential life partner moving forward. I mean, Tia Frio 1975 and the crazy donkey 1976 set aside. There was opportunity and none of it 
was used in a proper manner. So now forcing, what's the other option? Internet dating. So you have to dangle yourself with photos and profile and compromised of your data and your personal information online. You have no way of qualifying these men and you're just supposed to go out in a car and then out to whatever because you don't want to invite them into your home and you're supposed to be sick I mean like where is the community I mean like men are losers yeah they've lost themselves in this colostomy new modern society it's an absolute mess it's disgusting abomishment of what we used to be so now I have to compromise my morals, my safety, and my class stature to just maybe meet somebody. But I have no way of vetting them after that, if they're even like reputable. That's, that's where American 20th century is. For anybody who was good looking or even slightly resembles the possibility that they could get back into what they were. And these are like the crimes that seem to be going without punishment. Um, so then they put up this grooming definition. Um, yeah, here's the thing. I hear this moron, Annie, and her 20 year play to take down this just, just, Giselaine, Maxwell, whatever. Now, according to what they're saying, this grooming word is that respectable mother and father find respectable other mother and father. They get to know one another. The children get to know one another as a possibility. Grow up together. And then if it works they build a household of respectable children and they are part of a respectable part of society and community but somehow in this men are losers scenario they've made that a criminal offense or as if it's something wrong where you have a respectable male and female father and mother who have beautiful children and now they don't even know how to find other respectable families like I, I just like where the hell did Brady Bunch go I mean presidential Reagan there was a Brady connection I just found out yesterday we were in a locked in facility in Long Island in Suffolk County under special whatever there was a special seal given on the special paperwork. We knew we were special. Where did the special marriage go? Because I know the crazy donkey is not what I was headed for. And is signs of an even bigger malicious issue. Um, so now they're making this grooming thing as if it's bad. Well, let me tell you what's really bad. What's really bad is having your entire life taken from you, your entire youth, your entire feeling pretty, feeling young, and actually exploring a relationship that was worth having. What's really disgusting is having to turn yourself as a beautiful person numb to anything worth being in human skin for and ignoring that it exists completely because the alternative is feeling like you're being raped by some less than worthy what at Tina, whatever the fuck's around. It's disgusting. It's not worth it. So then you just go numb and you just ignore the entire like humanity there's no purpose built this way i don't know who the creator and the builder is of this area but they should be executed for certain it's inhumane to live this way 
Um, then they have this thing about, oh, right, uh, eye opener. President Biden was talking about transatlantic partnership as a answer to Russia. Um, on the other side of the finish line, Sweden and Norway are joining NATO, which is, um, I don't know, NATO is expanding. For me, I mean, this is a sign of hope since I'm stuck in the us that's all broken and doesn't look like us anymore. So if NATO's the alternative, I don't know how to find my way to safety. Um, and then they have a story at one dot dot one four dot dot three five about rebuilding America. Uh, they talk about the manatees and the seagrass. Now, what's interesting is I've heard humans speak before in Christian tongue, um, Christian English tongue, I should say, um, about being the there's a period in ancient scripts about the humans being set out into the desert and they rely upon this food they call manna. Now, in my story this morning, there is a sea elephant, S-E-A elephant, which they call a manatee, M-A-N-A-T-E-E. -E. And in Crystal Rivers, Florida, there was a problem with the development of this aqu um, aquatic whatever, the the water started turning murky, the seagrass was dying, but they got um, some kind of grant and they built up something. They suctioned out all of the dead seagrass off the floor that was clogging the natural springs and then they replanted things. And now today the water looks clearer. Uh, it even has a resident of the area who says that she lived there the entire time as it was dying and as the manatees were in the water having problems and she didn't even realize what was going on until it was so significantly brought to her attention of how it had changed and why and how to be an active participant in the solution. Um... again so that's what's on see the bs this morning and then the translucent transition into um drew barrymore show i don't know if i should mix my words with theirs i don't know if i should keep my words separate Overlay palette at this point to add my dimensional perspective between the near and the far. It's Star Wars 978, Star 8378, and Cole Catarusa. Its Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 10361. I will say, um, I have a 22-year-old now. Um, there is not one girl in his American youth. I mean, youth, yes. But in his high school, there wasn't one girl that I saw that he, that was worthy of him. Just didn't. Um. land genocide somebody's planning somewhere and forcing all the rest of us into it in some kind of blind fury that nobody even knows where to begin or how to put the pieces in the correct alignment and order because I mean they already broke the house 
they broke the point of being human and being able to find a life partner that you actually want to spend time with and can cultivate a relationship on many different levels and someone this is someone's design whoever it is i think should be absolutely rooted out and executed but here we are and someone's allowing this to go on and it's absolutely foul it's june 29th 2022